Hey, how's it going, folks? Well, tonight was the first night of the Wednesday Night Wars, and we saw AEW make their debut on TNT, as well as NXT live on the USA Network. Attempted to watch both shows at two screens running at the same time. On my main screen, I had AEW Dynamite just because it was their inaugural show. And on my second screen, I did have NXT. As far as the first match goes, it was um, Adam Cole versus Matt Riddle on the NXT side. And then on the AEW side, we saw Cody versus Sammy Guevara. And quite honestly, both matches were great as I was watching my main screen for the most part with Sammy Guevara versus Cody and this match really impressed me. I didn't have high hopes for this match but it actually was really good considering Cody got the win which was more likely than ex was more expected to happen I should say and then on the NXT side Adam Cole did retain the NXT championship it was a close match it was a good match so when it goes to the first match it was actually really close between those two and then we saw Io Shirai versus Mia Yim on the NXT side and then on the AEW side we saw Brandon Cutler versus MJF and for those fans who are seeing MJF for the first time he cut a great heel promo to begin with but the match with Io Shirai and Mia Yim I was more tuned to that and I found that that match was just a little bit more interesting Io Shirai ended up getting the win and MJF defeated Brandon Cutler via submission so I got to give the second match to Mia Yim uh, and Io Shirai as I enjoyed that match a little bit more. We did have some appearances in the crowd. The Outsiders, Scott Hall and Kevin Nash were at NXT where we had Jay and Silent Bob at AEW. The nice thing about uh, both were that they were using the split screen for both as on TNT, um, they were using a split screen where they were still showing the action in uh, the ring while there was a commercial. And then also on the NXT side, limited com commercials and they were showing a split screen on USA. And then the next match we did have uh, was Pac versus Adam Page. And as far as that match does go, it was a pretty good match. The ending though, I wasn't a huge fan as... It ended up, you know, with Pop going for the low blow, and I just didn't like the screwy finish there. Um, wasn't a huge fan of that, but that being said, that was that match. And then on the side for um, NXT, we had Johnny Gargano versus Shane Thorne. Uh, Johnny Gargano got the win, but ultimately, match-wise, I still was a bigger fan of Pop versus Hangman Page. And then match four on the NXT side, we had saw Candice LeRae versus. Shayna Baszler for the NXT um, Women's Championship and on the AEW side they also had the inaugural AEW Women's Championship match going on Rio versus Nyla Rose I really like this Rio versus Nyla Rose match Rio is insane she is great uh, not to take anything away from Candice LeRae and Shayna Baszler but I really enjoyed the Rio match afterwards after Rio won there was a bit of a botch where uh, Michael Nakazawa was, you know, attempting to interview Rio and then Nyla Rose interfered. She almost dropped uh, Michael Nakazawa on his head while going for a powerbomb. That was kind of scary. Uh, but when it comes to going those matches side by side, head to head, I still enjoyed um the Rio match uh, with Nyla Rose. On the NXT side, match number five was Pete Dunn versus Danny Burch. It wasn't anything so crazy, but it was an all right match. Uh, Pete Dunn ended up getting the win. And then um, for the main events of the night, uh, we did have Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins, the Street Profits, versus Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly for the NXT Tag Team Championships. And then on the AEW side, we did have Ortiz and Santana and Chris Jericho versus The Elite. I want to say the entrances on the AEW side, I don't know. They just needed a little bit something more. It just didn't really resonate with me as far as the entrances goes. On the NXT side, however, Wale came out with... Uh, the Street Profits, Wale, hip-hop star, and he really got that crowd going 
awesome entrance as far as the match goes it was a six-man tag but in the middle of the match John Moxley did show up and he did attack Kenny Omega and then we had um where it was going on two things were going on at the same time where Kenny Omega and John Moxley were fighting in the back while the match was kind of still going on all hell broke loose I wasn't a huge fan of Moxley interfering there as I would have liked to see the match a little bit more I understand why they did it they had a good spot where you know Moxley put Kenny Omega through like a glass coffee table um at the end of the match we did see um the uh, winners with uh, Jericho and LAX or the former LAX and then afterwards uh, a lot of the locker room came out Cody, Sammy Guevara and Goldust, the former Goldust, Dustin Rhodes and then we saw the big debut of Jake Hagar, former Jack Swagger. Uh, we did report uh, a few days ago on HealByNature.com that uh, Sports Illustrated report that there was talk of uh, the former Jack Swagger joining AEW making a surprise appearance tonight that did happen as he has aligned himself with Chris Jericho on the NXT side there was an overrun so we did get to see uh, the main event match go on and it was a great main event as the Street Profits ended up coming up short and the uh, Undisputed Era ended up getting the W there retaining the titles after it was done, Adam Cole, he did come out to the top of the entrance. And then we saw a returning Tommaso Ciampa kind of give Adam Cole a stare down. When it comes uh, to earlier in the night, we did also see... Um, the return of Finn Balor, as Finn Balor uh, did state that he is now back with NXT. When I have to put these two shows head to head, it was AEW's first show. And for a first show, it was really good. Uh, NXT was good as well, but I got to give the slight edge here to AEW as the first winners of the Wednesday Night Wars, in my opinion, Overall, um, as far as the ratings go, we should know, uh, you know, tomorrow or the next day as far as the ratings goes. But overall, presentation, match quality, I want to give a slight edge to AEW tonight. But NXT was also amazing. Um, so, slight edge for AEW. Considering that NXT, you know, it was in front of a smaller crowd, the matches were still really, really good. But due to it being their first major event, I want to say AEW, um, it really went off without a hitch. It was really good. So I want to give a slight edge to AEW for their show tonight. That being said, what do you think? Did you watch both? Are you PVRing it? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to DDT that like button and subscribe. Join the notification squad to be notified of new videos. And have a great day.